Man, your aim was terrible, sir. I only have 11% health. You missed all of that. I feel bad for you. Well, not that bad. Oh, that guy had much better aim. <laughs>
Orders are as follows. Infiltrate Castle Wolfenstein and investigate increase in activity from SS Paranormal Division. Gather any intelligence information you may find regarding the said SS Division and their activities. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you guys like Dead Nazis because that's what you're going to get. You send Gaming J into a castle with a bayonet and you're going to get a bunch of Dead Nazis. It's just how it works. Um, one sad thing about this game, by the way, as I said, it is a total reboot remake of the original Wolfenstein 3D uh, from DOS. Man, are we still not playing? Oh my god. Man, they're, they're really milking this, like, opening cinematic thing here. Um, but fair enough, I guess. I mean, they, they you know, they want to show it off. Uh, this game used a modified Quake 3 engine, by the way, so we're going to see sort of slightly improved Quake 3 era graphics. Um, but this game, again, was sort of a modern, or, or was a reboot remake of Wolfenstein 3D, except that they took away your ability to kill Hitler. Yes, at the end of the game, you don't fight and kill a giant robotic Hitler. I guess they figured that was too unrealistic. They were like, well, you know, magic, demons, zombies, you gotta draw a line somewhere. And, like, Robo Hitler was, like, the one thing nobody believed from the first. I mean, many people played Wolfenstein 3D just to kill Hitler. So I, I kind of feel like that is, like, a huge oversight. If you're gonna make Wolfenstein 3D, don't chicken out. Go all Hitler. Because, oh, what the? <laughs> he, like, that's like a Batman Spider-Man move. Wow, okay, so that's how BJ escaped from his cell. And so I killed this guard. My uh, cellmate Steven over here did not make it. Not only did Steven die, he died so long ago he turned to bones. Even his clothes have rotted away, so poor guy. I gotta figure when you're storing prisoners in a cell so long that they're literally turning to skeletons, you should probably be checking in on them a little bit more. You're not really doing your job as a, uh, as a random German guard. So obviously, uh, this game has some Nazi symbolism. Now, uh, interestingly, in Germany, um, there are strict laws saying that you can't show the swastika and stuff. So in the German version of this game, you were not fighting Nazis. Uh oh, hold on. Let's, let's figure out how do we get out of here. Okay, there's an evil scientist guy there. Whoa, is that a guard right there? Oh, no, it's a guard uniform. Okay. Um, what do you think? There were no keys or anything. Oh, use the hand icon. All right. What the? Uh, there you are. He he didn't lock the door? All right, well, bullet to the face. I hope that killed you. Let's save this guy. Oh, I, I think he's dead. Uh-oh. More Nazis are coming in here. Has he realized I'm a bad guy yet? <laughs> Took him a while. Ah, you jerk. Get back over here, buddy. All right, there we go. Let's leave, leave one in his face. And let's not leave... Oh, this guy's totally dead. Oh, they carved his eyeballs out or something. Ugh. Um, you can reload in this game, by the way. Uh, if I had any extra ammo, I could reload, I guess. I don't think I have any. Oh, wait. Here's a pistol. Boom, you can reload. They didn't have that in Wolfenstein 3D. Things have improved. All right. Do you think all these prison doors just, like, open? Oh, my God, they do. Man. Rule one to running a prison, lock your doors. Like, what is the point of having a prison if every single door is open? I don't think these Nazis know what they're doing. Hey, how dare you? Pretty far away. I'm probably just going to waste my ammo shooting at you. I'm smarter than that. Okay, that door is locked. Okay, this looks like a gate. All right, right I'm sure we got to kill this guy first. Let's be all sneaky about it. Come on, buddy. Reveal yourself. Oh, I've gone away now. I've gone away. Yeah, I can't open the door here. Wait. Is this? Oh my god. Wait. You have this, like, security gate, and on both sides of the gate are buttons to open it. That's not very secure at all, is it? Man, you guys need, like, a... You need a, cons a security consultant to come talk to you about, like, really basic things about security, because I don't think you guys understand the whole premise of what it is you're supposed to do here. Can we raid their lockers? No, can we take a med pack? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What's going on in here? That's a Nazi propaganda garbage. Oh, hello. Can we, there's like a map icon. Okay, hold on. What is the map control? I have binoculars? Huh, we should try that. Uh, sprint. Ooh, look, look at all the weapons we could get. So in Wolfenstein 3D, it kind of tapped out at light machine gun or chain gun. But look, we have heavy machine guns, Venom, a Tesla. 
What is that? Cool. Kick? We can kick? Okay, we got binoculars, notebook, auto pickup, activate. Use item. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to do. Cyanide? Oh my god, we can suicide? Oh, we, we gotta try that at some point. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assign a key. Oh, wait, that brings up the console. Um, I'm gonna assign a key of P. That will be for us killing ourselves. We can press P. So hold on, G is kick. Hey, look at that, we can kick. That looks like a very lazy kick. And his notebook. Ah, look at this. Escape the dungeon by any means necessary. Yeah, well, when the, the guards just leave guns lying around, they don't actually lock any doors. Trust me, escaping is pretty easy. How about our binoculars? Oh, we don't have them yet. All right, wait. Let's go ahead and save our game, and let's just see what suicide looks like in this game. You must specify a file name. Go team venture. All right, suicide time. What? <laughs> I was expecting an animation or something. Why give you a suicide button if, like, there's nothing to it? Oh, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. Why Why is the suicide button in there? Now I want to, like, unequip. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. It didn't load my game. I was like, wait, all my progress. My, my 30 seconds of playing have been lost. All right, to hell with this. Let's just go. Kill these guys. Oh, that guy was, like, unfazed by, like, the gunfight that ensued around him. Oh, uh, we're down to the knife. Ah, oh, it's you and me, buddy. Ah, oh, bane at you. Oh, thanks for the machine gun. Oh, and he fell down the stairs. Sweet. All right, well, that worked out better than I anticipated, although I am remarkably close to dying now. I miss, in, in Wolfenstein on DOS, it would, like, show you your face, and when you were low on health, your guy would be all, like, bruised and bloody. I kind of miss that. Like, Doom had the same thing, actually. It's kind of weird. Modern shooters never do that. They don't show you your own face. But yeah, Doom, you could, like, see your guy's face. And as he took damage, he started, like, bleeding out his mouth and nose and eyes and stuff. And, um, whoa, what was that? Oh, look, we can lean if we want to be sneaky. So we can, like, open this door and be like, Hello? Is anybody out there? Oh, more Nazi symbolism. So, by the way, as I was saying, in Germany, they can't show swastikas or even mention the word Nazi. It's like against their laws there for obvious reasons. So the German version of this game, it actually takes out every single mention of the word Nazi. And so you're not fighting Nazis, you're fighting, um, what are you, who are you fighting? They are called, uh, the wolves, the wolves. Yes. And they use the Wolfenstein logo. So they're in the German version of this game, you're walking around fighting uh, World War II era German soldiers of a secret paranormal division and they uh, they're called the wolves I think it's pretty obvious you're killing Nazis even in Germany you got a clue into the fact that yo these guys I'm pretty sure these guys are Nazis like we're not fooling anyone it's funny how like the law is there so it's like you're not allowed to actually like mention Nazis but it's like it's clearly Nazis like who else who else but a Nazi would be that dumb? To like, to like shoot at a guy right at the edge of a castle and then get blown off the edge. Just checking to see if we have any other weapons. Can we take this flag down and poop on it? Because, I mean, that's that that should be, in a game with Nazis, that should be an option. Desecrate Nazi flag. Where is that button? I mean, they have a button for me to commit suicide. How about desecrate Nazi corpse? That should also be a button. Hello, what's this? Looks like a secret. I set off some kind of alarm and I don't know if there are any consequences to it. So. Oh, hello. Yes, I want in. Psych, I got in. Do I get binoculars? Oh yeah, give me the binoculars, yes. Oh yeah, binoculars, oh! I'm being sniped. He's got a sniper rifle and I only have binoculars. That is not cool. I wonder if I can shoot at him or if it's uh no, it's probably a lost cause. He's gonna kill me. But I have the binoculars, look, woo! I have an, I have cybernetically enhanced my vision. Alright, I wonder if that was really a secret or not. If I could have just gone in that door from the get-go. Who knows? Um no. Oh! There's a dude! <laughs> I was like, have I been here before? Nope. There's a breadcrumb of live enemies through this part of the, the map, which is the developer's way of subtly inching the player towards this area. 
Kill them all these stinking Nazis. I like how they all have med packs hanging by their bunks. When would you use that? Oh, grenades. Wait, I have a grenade button? Oh my god, things are so complicated in this game. It's probably under shoot. Next weapon. Switch to alternate. What is that? Machine gun, grenades. Oh, I hate when they make grenades a whole separate weapon. I like the Halo model where it's just like a second button that you press. Let's get rid of... Uh, can we get rid of the suicide button? Oh no, it's, I don't want it to be mouse one. There we go. Oh my god, okay, attack. Yeah, it's mouse one. Jeez, could you imagine I go to I go to kill someone and I, I just eat a cyanide pill? This kick looks so feeble. And also, like, he doesn't get off balance or all. Look, he's perfectly balanced as he kicks. He doesn't even, like, move the gun an inch, an iota. It, there's something oddly suspicious about the, the way this guy moves. He does not move like a regular human. I guess this game predates... Uh, those kinds of uh, realistic controls. Okay, we can't go that way. Man, how did I set off that alarm and how do I turn it off? Because it's so annoying. It's not even like any guards are coming. At the other side of the castle, they're like, uh, alarm's going off again. They're like, should we go get it? And they're like, nah, it's probably just some guy escaping. They're like, yeah, best to just leave it. Um, okay, does this, does this icon do anything? Amp munition. All right, let me in. Let me in! Oh. How did that happen? Alright. We'll go this way. I'll bite. Forget about the munitions. Wait. No, you tricked me! You tricked me. I've been here before, haven't I? Oh my god. Come through this door. All your hearts, all your dreams will come true. Psych! You're back in the prison! Maybe this is how they maintain control. They don't lock doors or kill prisoners who escape, but they just continually trick them into going back in the cell. It's like, oh man, you made me go back in the cell again. And they're like, ha ha ha, silly American, you fell for our simple trick. Okay, can we go here? Oh, this looks promising. I don't think I've been here before. Oh, yes I have. Oh wait, we'll just go out here. Boom. I don't want your sniper rifle, buddy, because it seems more effective than mine. Yes, the Mauza. Sweet. How do I zoom? It was Wait, plus? I keep having to look up controls here. Zoom in and zoom out. Equals. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, whatever. There's probably no aim down sights in this game, is my guess. Ah! Get over here! Whoa, they're shooting the floor out! Man! How did, what is happening to him? He's moving like a monkey, and I can't hit him. There we go. Shut up. Stop doing that. Man, Hitler's gonna be mad at you guys. Oh! Oh, you jerk. I need more ammo and I need health. What is this? Health? Yes. Alright. It says... I don't understand my health bar on the left there. It looks full, but I only have 56% health. It's very unclear. Hey! 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 Oh, you get back over here. You know what? You're getting a grenade, buddy. Oh, I almost fell down there with the grenade. That did not... The... Oh my god, he just... Those grenades are useless. Do I have to hold the button to throw it or something? I don't know. Die! I liked in Wolfenstein 3D how they would say, uh, Luftaven! When you killed him. Schnitzel! Nine! Nine! Okay, so we're back out there. Oh god. Is this gonna be like, where the hell do I go game? Man, that guy took a long time to die. I had enough time to like, look around, take the room in. Shut up, buddy. Tell Hitler I said hello. I have 241 bullets and 30 of them belong in that guy. I, I'm not worried about wasting ammo, guys. Oh, I went to kill the guy in front, and I think I almost killed the guy behind. Oh, there's a guy in there. Hello. Do you want to die, too? I can accommodate. I take... I No appointment necessary. Come see me if you want to die. Hey, pictures of Hitler. Just like in the DOS version. Stop! I'm trying to admire your Fuhrer. You guys want to recruit me or not? 
give me time to admire him and maybe I'll come to like him. You never know. Nah, I probably I'll probably just kill y'all, but you gotta you gotta like tease them, keep the dream alive for them. Ugh, more of this map stuff. I'm sure if you do this, you like unlock story and stuff, but like, eh, eh. I, I should put this on. There needs to be an option to wear this. If I walked around a corner and they saw a dude in full plate mail holding dual dual wielding machine guns, let me tell you. Oh, you can eat turkey dinners. Sweet. Um, they they would be crapping in their pants. Sweet. So we found turkey dinners. We found armor. It has everything from the first game. I want to find where are those like goblets and like the cross of Coronado and like the crown and stuff. I want to find like treasure, man. I'm in this for the treasure. Not a lot of people know this, but most of the soldiers who signed up in World War II were doing it predominantly for treasure. So that's that's also why I'm here. That's why BJ Blackowitz or Blazkowitz. I his last name is like really hard to say actually. Um, do we have? Man, I want more ammo for this. Hold on, let's try and throw a grenade here. Okay, so if you hold down the button, you throw it farther. Man, he really, he's really stabby. If we find a guy, that guy is going down. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't mess around though. Let's, uh... Oh, did we pass the mission? What? A generic room is like, well, far enough. Far enough. This was your rendezvous coordinates. Okay, good. I'm glad I did it. Treasures, oh, there was treasure. Oh, and there were secret areas. Seven secret areas. Huh. I guess I did not explore um, enough at all. Um, all right, let's go ahead for it. There's lots of backstory here. I know that uh, the developers of this game, like they really did put a lot of effort into, um, you know, creating some story and stuff. And like, you know, certain levels of the game were inspired by uh, World War II movies. Like I think even Saving Private Ryan inspired uh, one of the levels here. Wait, munitions, oh, I thought this said mutation. Oh, uh, with the alarm already? Who set off the alarm? Seriously, who set off the alarm? Hey, who's this guy? <gasps> Whoa, there's a secret behind this dude. What did that do? Oh, did that open the munitions? No. Okay, that... They don't... Switches don't exist behind paintings for no reason. Something changed. Something happened. I... Do n I don't know what it is. Can't walk into the fire. Damn it! <laughs> I'm never. I'm so close to a secret. I can taste it. I'm not gonna know, am I? Ah, oh, that's that's such a tease. Wait, one more thing before we go. Is there any loose bricks over here or anything? No. Uh, anyway, I know the developers for this game were inspired by game by uh, movies like uh, Saving Private Ryan. And uh, there was like a 1962 World War II movie that inspired them as well. Um, I mean, perhaps ironically, the original Castle Wolfenstein, not the one by id Software, Wolfenstein 3D, but the original original one that uh, Wolfenstein 3D was sort of made after. Uh, the original, I think it was Escape from Castle Wolfenstein. That was, I believe, inspired by the developers caught some uh, World War II movie late late at night on TV about commandos sneaking behind enemy lines and like blowing up mortar guns or something. And so I believe that uh, the original Wolfenstein, I could be wrong on this, but I believe the original Wolfenstein was, hey, was uh, was inspired by a movie as well. So lots, lots of movie inspiration going on along here uh, in the Wolfenstein series, trying to like give the games more depth. And hey, I'm, I'm all down for that, making the games um, more, more cinematic. Oh, that guy fell over the railing. That was pretty cool. Oh, how's that guy still standing? <laughs> he knew he was dying. He's like, I just want to look cool. And he jumped off the railing intentionally, I feel. I want to find more of those Mauser guns. Also, I, I want to find a gun with a scope, man. Shooting, just shooting without aiming is getting old. I want to aim. Hmm. What the? You go down now? Who, who, who do you work for? Take me to your leader. I want to kill him too. Especially if it's Hitler. Pretty sure this door. Oh no, I was like, I was pretty sure this one would be locked because it had a red light above it. All right, let's see what we got going on down here. Oh, we're going in circles. Hey, 
Is this where I came from? Oh. How did that guy take so many bullets? Sometimes these guys take like a billion bullets. A cold meal. Don't mind me. In the middle of battle, I sometimes get hungry for sliced salami and unbuttered bread. Oh, sweet. I turned the alarm off. Jerk. Where's your salami? I feel injured. I need to heal myself. What is this? Probably does not want me to pull that, but I did. Oh, wait. That? Maybe that opens the munition area. Okay, hold on. Where was that? That was back this way, I think. And then over here. Yeah, munitions! Yes! Uh, I figured something out. Give me all the guns. What? Th that's it? This munitions dump depot sucks. Are you kidding me? There's like nothing, there's nothing else of value to grab. Nothing. Oh, I got more ammo for this. All right, I'll take it. Let's go shoot some, shoot some dudes in the face. Wait, which way do I need to go here? I feel like I'm totally getting lost in this castle. Do we have a map? Hmm, probably not. Usually it's tab to bring up the map. If there is one. Okay, so we went through there. What about over here? Anything? Nothing. Wait, so is this a dead end then? So... Where do I want to go? So I guess we want to go back out to like the courtyard area. Which I think was over this way. Hmm. Well, as we wander around the castle here, trying to find our way, as we would if we were real prisoners escaping from a secret Nazi, Nazi death castle. Oh, yeah. This is where we want to be. Can't go out there. Who's shooting at me, by the way? Or Where are you? Reveal yourself. That looks like a dude. <laughs> looks like a dead dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was sweet, man. I still hear bullets. Oh, there he is. Yes! <laughs> Jay the Sniper. Nobody mess with me. I'll kill you from 10,000 yards. Um, so anyway, movies. Uh, another interesting fact about this game is back in like 2002 or 7, um, which is a pretty big gap. But anyway, a long time ago, either way. Um, they were talking about turning this game into a, into a movie. Yes, they wanted to turn Return to Castle Wolfenstein into a movie. You'll never guess who was interested in directing it. None other than the director of Triple X and Fast and the Furious, but uh, Cohen. I think his name's Robert Cohen. That guy took two bullets. Hmm. I think he had a friend over here. A very scared friend, because the guy's running. Oh, you had a right to be scared, my friend. You were just terrified for your life. Don't hang out in a wine cellar. Somebody will get you. I'm like terrible at finding secrets, by the way. I guess I'm not really looking. I should be like, uh, sort of walking around humping the walls like I did in Wolfenstein 3D, looking for secrets. Oh! I like when their helmets pop off. Can you kill them? Oh, look at them all. Six. Heh. Come get me. Did that get him? Oh, they're all... Oh, they all... How did that grenade get none of them? So it killed them the old-fashioned way. Look at them all! It's like eight dudes here. Not, it took out a whole platoon. Huh, okay. Oh, I hate this. I Like, I can't jump up here. Like, my guy has an inability to climb. That is... I, I hate that. Like, uh, in video games... I was playing a video game recently. Um, and uh, some characters... Uh, walked on the other side of a fence, and then the fence locked electronically, like, remotely by, like, a killer. And they were like, hey, we're trapped. And I was like, you're not trapped. Like, it's literally a waist-high fence. Climb over the damn thing. Like, I, you, I, I could scale fences, you know, that, like, uh, they're, like, twice my height. You can, you can step over a waist-high fence. <laughs> it's, like, so stupid. Oh, no. Somebody liked the, the, the fence. We're trapped. Um, same logic as we had just at the top of the stairs there, where I couldn't, uh, I couldn't just climb on top of that little platform. My guy was like, uh, uh, well, if I can't, if I can't just straight jump to the top of it, then I guess I can't reach, because 
BJ don't climb, man. BJ don't climb. BJ does a lot of things. Kills a lot of people, but he doesn't climb. Um, I don't know if a movie about this game would be any good, to be honest. Um, I, 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 I did read that they said they wanted to make it like Captain America. Oh, this is like a one-way door if we go through that. So I don't know if we're going to do that just yet. They said it would be like Captain America meets something something. Man, I, don't you love these descriptions? Somebody said something about Wolfenstein and then somebody else disagreed with it. That's my trivia for the day. Um, but yes, uh, they said they wanted to make it like Captain America, which Captain America was actually an awesome World War II movie, by the way. Can I just say, like Captain America, I he was never like my favorite superhero or anything. When I was a kid growing up, Batman and Spider-Man were like my favorites. And I always thought Captain America was kind of stupid. Um, and I avoided watching the Captain America movie, too, because I was like, Captain America, he's dumb. And then I caught the movie in, like, a hotel randomly, and I was like, holy crap, this is actually a really cool movie. And, like, it has since become one of my favorite Marvel movies, I'm not embarrassed to say. Captain America. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the, the historical accuracy that I remember. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're just, like, blowing up rock. Come on, throw some more Nazis at me if you got them. What's the matter, run out of Nazis? I think they did run out of Nazis. What a jip. Oh, there's some, there's just corpses everywhere. All right, the music is very, very epic. Meanwhile, I'm just like plowing through guys. It's not like, it's not like I'm in danger of being killed by any of these Nazis, these feeble henchmen. Um, but yeah, I don't know if a movie for this would have been that good. I don't know. Maybe it would have. Maybe it would have. Uh, I feel like with the director of, like, Triple X and Fast and the Furious, it would have just been, like, a very shallow spectacle. Uh, which, I don't know, maybe maybe that'd be good. I gotta, I gotta think, though, if you're gonna make a movie for Wolfenstein, you'd make it for Wolfenstein 3D, you know, like the game that everyone actually knows. Um... Yeah, and in fact, that kind of brings me to to one point that I was thinking of uh, when uh, I was getting ready to play this game, which is, why is this game in the book and Wolfenstein 3D not? Um, and I even mentioned this in my in my uh, Let's Play of Wolfenstein 3D, but, like, Wolfenstein 3D... Hey, where'd you come from, buddy? Where'd you come from, buddy? Where are all these new Nazis coming from? Get out of here. Um, but yeah, Wolfenstein 3D is like the super iconic, memorable, you know, big game. Um, meanwhile, like Return to Castle Wolfenstein here, I don't know, like how, how memorable or like influential, oh, there's a door here, or something. Yes, I'm pressing the button, do it! Let me in! It's probably a secret door, man. Damn it. Um... How do we get to where those dudes were outside? Oh, there's more guys here. Okay, so clearly we have to go this way, I think. Is this it? Is this a good way to go? What the hell? How are there, like, just random Nazis around, hanging around in areas that have already cleared? Where did you come from? Oh my god. That guy almost killed me. Alright, come here, buddy. Jesus, they, they, they want, they want revenge. <laughs> they definitely want to kill me. Oh God, I'm down to 2% health. Oh my God. Um, this is not good. Oh, let's save our game. Go team venture. Nope. Go, go, uh, go. Let's we'll call it go. 2% health. Can I do this? I should have called the save game, like, Believe in Your Dreams or something like that. Because we only got 2% health. Oh, God, and someone else is shooting at me. Okay, we got him. So they're clearly coming from up on the wall. I gotta figure out how to get up there, or I'm dead. These levels are way more complicated than Wolfenstein 3D levels. I mean, surprise, surprise, right? Um, but yeah, I think Wolfenstein 3D should have been in the book. I mean, like, okay, this is like, this is like a decent shooter. But, like, you know, not to preempt my, like, later opinion, but 
I mean, honestly, like, there isn't anything too surprising here. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm just viewing this game out of context, you know, because I didn't, I didn't play this game when it first came out. But like, yeah, it's, it's a decent shooter, I guess. I don't know. It's like, it's normal. It's normal. It's like, you know, what's that guy Steven like at your work? It's like, yeah, he's like a normal guy. Like, you know, just kind of a normal dude. Um, I kind of feel like that's what this game is like. It's like Steven. It's, it's the Steven of video games. It's like... Yeah, it's not bad. It's not particularly, like, amazing or memorable, I don't think. I mean, maybe I'm way off on this. Am I? Like, for people who played this when it first came out, what was the big draw here? Um, I have to think that it was probably the multiplayer, because I have read the multiplayer is, like, uh, allies, Axis versus Allies, and it's objective-based, and there are, like, four classes you can play as in the multiplayer. So, you know, there's probably some, like, depth and stuff going on there. Oh, thank God we found a health pack. So, you know, if it's if it's a multiplayer game and that's why people like it, that's fine. But, like, as far as a single player goes, it's just sort of like, yeah, it's acceptable. But, um, yeah, it, it doesn't feel like uh, it's doing anything super unique at the moment. I mean, besides having Nazis, but that's just, you know, just because it's a game about killing Nazis. Any game could be about killing Nazis if that's what the game is about. Um, okay. Okay, so that locked door... Verboten. Don't know what that means. I wish I knew German. Damn it, we've been here. How, where the hell do we go? Okay, I'll bite. What does this mean? Okay, I don't care about any of that stuff. I I, I forgot. I don't care about that. Um, oh, wait. Do I either need to turn these on or destroy them? How about this? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a secret area. Damn it. I thought we were making progress. Oh, well, at least we figured out how to open that door. Uh, an armored helmet. Whoa, I want that helmet. <gasps> treasure! We found treasure! Sweet! There is treasure in this game. All right, I like that. I like that. I like that we found at least one piece of treasure here. Um, although, again, it's not helping us actually figure out where to go. Okay, we've been through there. We've been through... This is just a dead end, I guess. There's nothing in this corner. And there's nothing in there, so wait. So we want to go this way. Then this way. Then... Okay, so now we're up here. Ooh, food. Don't mind if I do. I could use a hot meal. Killing Nazis makes me hungry. Out here... Okay, we killed all those guys. And then... Do we want to go in here? Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Man, if... if You guys could just tell me where to go to kill you. That would be really helpful. How about... And then we go in here. Okay. And... Nothing. What the hell? You know, they give you this machine gun to, like, mow Nazis down at this part of the game, but, like, there's really no reason to even come to this courtyard, it seems. It's not like there's a door or anything you have to go in here. So there's really... There's this whole section, there's no reason to be here. Unless I'm missing something super obvious. Where do they keep coming from? Seriously. They, every time I come into this courtyard, there's, like, one more dude. Oh, this door, these doors. <gasps> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, man. I was wandering around for like 10 minutes. I thought I was going to have to like abandon the game and be like, well, I've gotten as far as I can get because like, honestly, I could not find. Oh, and we're at the end of the mission. Oh, my God. I was right at the end. Just missed like one little door. I guess they did scatter a couple Nazis in that courtyard. They're like, come in here. Look, more Nazis keep appearing. Where could they be coming from? Meanwhile, I was just like, ah, stupid courtyard, running back into the building. Oh, man. I feel like what you need in this game definitely is like an overhead map. Like, it, it seems like that would have made a world of difference. All right. wonder if they're going to give us a new weapon soon. I would appreciate a, a, a chainsaw, in fact. I want to go Doomsaw. Hey, a beer. Gave me stamina. Mmm. I wonder if you drink too much beer, you can get drunk, like in Fallout. 
That would be amazing if they had actually thought of that. Or maybe BJ is more man than uh, more man than man, and he can handle his beers. He's not a sissy. He doesn't get drunk. Kill that guy. Innocent civilian. Nobody checks a Nazi motor on my watch, buddy. Bub. What is this thing anyway? Oh god, it's being riddled by bullets from this guy. Is what it is. Oh, more Nazis. All right, we'll take you guys out the old-fashioned way by killing you. Ow. Oh, there's a guy over here. Freaking alarm. A lot of guys around. All right, there we go. Now, what was this room that you were so steadfastly protecting? Oh, it's like a whole little area. Hmm. Uh, which way should we go? Anything fun to press over here? Uh, a recent investigation into the causes of tram car fatalities has uncovered a typographical error in the cable procedure, an allowable error, blah, what, whatever, blah, 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 blah. There's gonna be a cable car, I guess. Oh, look at that. There will be a cable car, actually. That's pretty cool. What do we got going on here? Some food. Eat some, uh, some salami. Random, random soldier salami. I don't mind. That sounds terrible, actually. Um, okay, I think I have to repair this engine. Somehow. Maybe this will repair it. Did I jar something loose? Maybe not. Let's try going down here. So we got going on. The basement is usually Oh, where you find a bunch of Nazis hanging around a motor. What were those two? Those two guys were they look too close to each other to be like waiting for me in ambush. Oh, he blew up into into Gibbs. We gibbed him. I think they were giving each other some kind of like inappropriate hug when we walked in on walked in on it. Okay, let's try this. Let's lure them to us. Oh no, there's an alarm. Better go get that American. Come on, Nazis, where are you? Want a tango? I think they're on to me. All right, fine, we'll turn the alarm off because it's annoying to listen to. Okay, that lever, that, that nondescript lever, I'm sure did something important. If my video game logic holds up, and it usually does, I think, yeah, that thing's turning now, which means Boom, oh, here we go, yes. This is how you escape a castle in style, man. Oh, there's dudes on there. Let's kill them. Oh man, they're still alive. There we go, now they're dead. Man, in the first Wolfenstein, you can only carry 99 bullets. Now I have like 200. Definitely not running out anytime soon. Go. Initiate. Movement begin. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that was cool. So I guess we're in the Alps. Oh man, I'm so tempted to jump. Let's do it! Ah! <laughs> oh no, wait, load, load. No, load, load, load. There we go, all right, we're back. That's weird how after you die, you can't load. It like wants to load for you and it like restarts the level. It also reminds me of the snow level on uh, Inception. And yes, I did say level because I kind of feel like that game, every level of the dream is like a video game level. Not like a level of the dream even, but like, yeah, like a straight up video game level. It's like the James Bond level, the snow level, and you got the hotel level, which is the anti-gravity level. You got the uh, urban warfare level. Yeah, it's just like levels of a video game. That movie's awesome. I wonder if somebody's incepting me, making me believe that I'm killing Nazis when I'm actually killing Russians. Ah, a dastardly prank indeed. Not like modern Russians, but like Soviet, you know, like evil Soviet Russians. You know those guys. Hello. Oh, you! What were you doing in there? Waiting? You you sealed yourself in like this stupid compartment with a gun. Idiot. Um, pull this lever. Starts the power back up. I presume. So I guess we stopped to turn the power on for the tram. Is that what we were doing? Didn't e didn't even realize. I was just looking for people to kill. But I guess if we can uh, power up the tram. Oh god. Oh! Oh god. 
<laughs> Woo! Alright, we should uh, go ahead and quick save there. Oh man. Can we land on this? What? That killed you? That was not a high fall, man. He's like, oh no, 10 feet! It's okay, we can. Oh. Oh wait, that's not where I want to be. I was past that. There we go. I wonder if this is like some kind of like exclusive Nazi ski resort. It's like we ski first and do evil seconds. We're on vacation. What is this this guy doing? He's dying is what it is. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'm so impatient. I'm like, let me off the tram! Let me off the freaking tram! Ah, there's people to kill! I'm so excited! It's like Christmas! When you're in Castle Wolfenstein, it's like Christmas every day. Because it's just non-stop killing Nazis. Ooh, we got ammo for the good gun. 41 bullets, why aren't we using this gun? This is the one that makes their, like, helmets pop off when you shoot them in the head. Oh, trick! That was a trick. Aw. Oh, 30% of my health. Hmm. Is there a guy down there? There we go. I guess there was. Not anymore. Hmm. When you have two doors in two different directions, video game logic dictates that you try to find the dead end and do that one first. There we go. No, this turns out to be the dead end. Give me the helmets. I'm walking around wearing like four helmets. It's all I can find. It's the only armor my guy seems to be interested in. He's like, more helmets. He's got a helmet on his head, his elbows, his shoulders, one on his butt, his crotch. He's nothing but helmets. They're like, our bullets are just ricocheting off his many helmets. He's like, you can't stop me. I'm a Nazi killing helmet wearing machine. Oh, there was a door here. I was wondering why I showed that hand icon. No. Go down the ladder. There we go. Or just jump off. Either way. Mm. Is there a lever or something? Why am I down here? The eternal question. Why am I here? To do this? Or this? No, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. I didn't see a lever. So... What do they want from... What... What do you want from us, game designers? Because they don't want me to go through this door. I don't even have the option. This door perplexes BJ. He's like, what is this? What is this dark magic that seals off an entire corridor behind uh, six inches of pine? Of rich mahogany pine. It befuddles the mind. And confuses the senses. How about I just do that? Now, how do I duck? <laughs> I never figured that out. They never trained me to duck. Uh, movement. Oh, of course, C. Oh, there we go. Kind of awkward, but C. Okay. That dude. Get in there. There we go. C. I wish you could toggle the duck because you have to hold it and you have to press W to move forward. It's pretty awkward. Oh, Nazis! Hey, I found the Nazis! Is anyone looking for Nazis? Because I found a whole bunch of them. A lot of Nazis. They should call these guys Deuces, because I see them everywhere. Get it? Nazi? Deuce? Deucey? Yeah, it's a terrible, terrible joke. I know, I, I'm reaching at this point. Oh, a cutscene. Look, it is a ski resort. Look at the ski poster. They're like, come be a Nazi. We got we got good ski hills. It's one of the main recruiting. There's really no other benefits. In fact, it's nothing but downsides being a Nazi, trust me. But we do have pretty good ski resorts. What the? You? How dare you shoot at me through a cutscene, sir? Have you no dignity? Yeah. When your wife finds your mutilated genitals, she'll know that Gaming J had his way. And you lost a duel. Should know that you're dishonorable. You shoot at people through cutscenes, which is not cool, man. 
Alright, this appears to be some kind of, like, worship center? I don't know, there's a pew. It's like a church. Only a, maybe it's the Church of Ski. And we take see, skiing very seriously. Oh yeah, I forgot about binoculars. Look at that poster. Wait, what does it say? It says Den Norsk Skijergabata. Oh my God. Oh, you know, I anyone who speaks English really has a hard time with like Swedish words. They're like just super long and too many like letters and vowels and confusing. I wonder, is English like that to anyone, um, Follow me. to any- Oh, that was a good guy! Follow me, I shot him in the arm. Is English like that to any other people who don't speak English, where it's like, oh, English words are the worst to try to pronounce? Because, like, I think Swedish words are really challenging to kind of, to say. Like, just as an English-speaking dude, I know Swedish is very hard sometimes to, to work out. Um... But yeah, okay, so we've been doing pretty good at this game. We've, we've got through a few levels here. I think we're kind of reaching a point where we should start wrapping up because uh, I've definitely got a taste of Return to Castle Wolfenstein here. Um, and I've gotten a sense of what the game is. And in terms of like my assessment, I think overall this is like a decent shooter from uh, the early 2000s, like era they came out on. I think the multiplayer... Um, the things I have read have suggested the multiplayer was pretty good, so it's like, that might have been the main draw. As far as the single-player campaign, like, it's, it's completely fine. It's totally playable, it's semi-interesting, you know, I'm sure if we were paying attention to the story, it'd be even more interesting. I mean, I mean, that kind of goes without saying. You know, the weapons seem fine, stuff, the mechanics are all pretty good for its era. Um, I guess my only complaint about it is that there's nothing about it that immediately strikes me as, like... Oh well, I know why this game should be in the thousand one games you must play before you die book. Like there's, there's. Oh wait, we just got a sniper rifle. Okay, hold on. How do we zoom? How do we zoom? Reload, auto switch. Uh, next weapon. How do you zoom? Equals. Oh, there we go. We can zoom. Wait, can we zoom with all weapons? We can't zoom with that. Can't zoom with that. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, we just wasted all the bullets. Oh. I that I cannot accompany you any further in my condition. Don't worry about it, buddy. Must hurry. Sorry about that bullet to your arm. Side at the graveyard at the end it was kind of my fault that you're injured. The crypt is there. But, uh, yeah. I, I would say that this game is like a completely passable game. My only sort of complaint about it is I don't know if it necessarily belonged in the thousand one games you must play before you die book. I think that there were probably other games that should have been in there in its stead but that's just my opinion we're totally sniping this drunk dude. oh yeah right in the head <laughs> yeah. that's what you get for being drunk on hitler's time baby um so yeah i i don't know if this should have been in the book but what do you guys think do you think that uh this is a game that you must play before you die or do you think that it's just sort of like a passable World War II era shooter from, you know, the early 2000s, um, as I do. Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you have any, like, cherished memories of this game. Oh, we're totally not going to kill her. That'd be so mean. No, we can't do it, guys. Get that thought out of your head. Can we talk to her? No. Don't worry, Fraulein. Whatever crimes you've committed, I'll let you off this one time. But never do it again! Oh, I was trying to shoot above her head. I guess the auto aim, uh, the aim assist assisted me incorrectly there. I swear I was trying to give her a scare, not actually murder her in cold blood. If you go down these stairs. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, if you have any fond memories of this game, let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, it's been awesome hanging out with you, playing, uh, playing a video game here. If you agree, go. Don't forget to uh, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to share this video with all your friends and family because they are probably interested in watching this too. Um, until next time, my friends, remember, if you're caught in a new World War II scenario, killing Nazis isn't wrong. In fact, it's right. So, so right. So have at it. And otherwise, take care of yourselves. And we are not going to kill any civilians this time around, guys. So, uh, yeah. Get that, get that thought out of your head. We're just going to kill Nazis from now. See? Like that. He deserved to die. Trust me. He was a terrible person. Anyway, until next time, guys. Peace. Feel yourself and die, bitch.